Python is one of the easiest yet most powerful programming languages. Python syntax is very readable and easy to comprehend, which makes it very easy to learn. Python is a high-level programming language. If you don't know about levels of programming languages, let me give you an overview of this. Please don't skip this part as it is very crucial for your journey in Python programming. Okay, first, we have high-level languages which include Python, Bash, Lua and many others. These types of languages are also called scripting languages as they are mostly used for scripting. These types of languages use an interpreter. An interpreter reads the program line by line and executes it on your system. For example, look at the Python program I have just made for this video. This program sends a GET request to a URL and shows the output on your screen. Now let's run this. For running this first we have to specify our interpreter and then our file name. For this example let me paste a link to my own site and you can see it has outputted the content of my homepage. Now let's try to run the program without the interpreter. You can see that it's throwing an error. A Python program will only work on a machine where a Python interpreter is installed and so is the case with other high-level programming languages. For running a program written in a high-level programming language we must have an interpreter installed on the system. But it is not the same with low-level or middle-level languages. Middle-level languages are not as complicated as low-level languages and are not as simple as high-level languages. These types of languages use a compiler instead of an interpreter. This includes C, C++, Rust and many more. A compiler reads the whole program at once and compiles it. After we compile a C program, it creates an executable file that can be run on any system of the same architecture without the compiler. For example, we have the following C program, and when I compile it using a compiler, it makes an executable file. Now there is no need for source code, and when we run the executable file, it shows the output. Every middle-level programming language has its own compiler. Low-level languages are very complicated to learn, but they are very fast and require an assembler for their execution. Coming back to Python, this video is just the start of the Python for Hackers series. In the upcoming videos of this series, we will learn how to code in Python, its basic syntax, and we will write some scripts using it in the end. In this video, we will cover what makes Python unique from other programming languages and why it is so loved by hackers. I am not going to cover the history of Python as it is basic info. You can Google the history of Python if you want to. As discussed earlier, Python is a scripting language. It is mostly used by hackers for writing hacking scripts and automations. Let's understand scripting with a simple web app I have made. This web app has a parameter number which takes a number. When we enter the correct number, it reveals the flag. Now, as a human, we can't enter numbers manually one by one and check if they are correct or not. So we write a script. As you can see on your screen, I have written a script that will count through 1 to 1000 and check which number is the correct input for the parameter. Now if I run this, you can see it has found the parameter and revealed our flag. So this was just a little example of how scripting works. Possibilities are endless. Python is also used for making custom hacking tools. Many tools in your Kali Linux or other hacking operating systems like Black Arch are written in Python. For example, the most famous tools like SQLMap and the Social Engineer Toolkit are written in Python. If you go to GitHub, you will see many tools made by different developers that are written in Python. Another reason why hackers tend toward Python is its versatility. Python is a versatile language that is full of libraries that can be utilized in different programs. For example, the library we used in the above tool was Requests, which allows us to make web requests with a Python script. We have a lot of libraries and modules like this that are made by developers and other community members. Python has a vast community. If you face any problems, you can ask in the community and they will help you troubleshoot the problem. In the next video, we are going to learn the basic syntax of the Python language and understand some basic things necessary for writing codes in Python. We are also going to install the interpreter for Windows as well as Linux. In the upcoming videos, we are also going to learn how we can utilize AI to learn Python and troubleshoot our Python programs. So these were some of the basic things you need to understand for coding in Python. I will try to upload the other videos of this series as soon as possible. I hope you guys will show your love. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and like this video.